was driving my car, it's a Honda Civic 2009, and suddenly the check engine light came on and the D, uh, the drive stick shift D light started flashing. So I googled the problem, it said it has to do something with the transmission. So I panicked and went back home and started googling. So they said first you need to check the the reader for the error code so I went to O'Reilly they have a free reader I plugged it into my car and it gave me this code P0843 I googled it it said uh, the circuit is high for the transmission fluid pressure switch um, so I called a few mechanics uh, the first one said, oh, first I have to diagnose it. It's going to cost $150, and then depending on what's the issue, then it's going to cost you more, <coughs> whatever it needs to be replaced. But <coughs> I googled more, and it seems like the most likely cause is the pressure switch. You have to replace it. Sometimes they go bad. Um, so I bought the parts. It's this one little thing the dealership sells it for hundred twenty dollars there was cheaper online sixty five dollar with tax and shipping it was coming out to about ninety dollars uh, I don't want to wait a week to get this part uh, I, I need to drive my car so I went ahead and bought it from the dealership hundred twenty plus tax and it actually needs this washer goes here and this washer is 10 bucks <laughs> <It's crazy. coughs> yeah I called another uh, mechanic I, t I told him hey I have the parts uh, can you just do the because I'm a software engineer so I never done anything with my car so I uh, changing this it's I don't want to break on other stuff but the mechanic said, oh, it's going to cost you $250 to do the lay for the labor. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I watched a few video, YouTube videos. It seems simple enough. It shouldn't take more than an hour <clears throat> for a mechanic. Probably it's going to take more for me. But I mean, what the heck? I'll give it a go. So I'll show you if I break my car, uh, whatever. I'll give it a go. You can see the check engine light is on and the D is flashing. And when you drive, the gear shifts are not as smooth as before. And the car doesn't go more than 45 miles an hour because it doesn't shift from the third shift to the fourth shift. So like the engine RPM is like 3000, 4000. The the transmission doesn't shift to higher gear so you can't go more than 45 uh, miles per hour and if you keep driving like that it's gonna eat all your gas because the engine is high rpm so i need to remove this one uh, so one here and one over there This is removed now. So somewhere in there, I have to remove this one. Uh, success! The old part is out. I was right there. So now we put the new one. Everything is back in place. Putting this back, like the bottom side of it, was a bitch, but looks fine now. I just scratched this thing. I hope it's fine. Uh, otherwise, looking good. Okay, so I just came back from a test drive, and everything looks good. So that fixed it. Uh, initially, the when I after completing the job. 
I started the car, the green D wasn't flashing anymore. Uh, the engine was still on, the, light, the engine light was still on. But I did a test drive, everything was uh, shifting smoothly, the limp mode was gone. So I was able to drive fast, uh, the, the transmission was shifting smoothly. Um, I did some stops, like I went to the beach, went to some restaurants and after like five cycles, uh, the check engine light uh, reset so the check engine light is off now because otherwise you have to use the scanner to erase the code but it did it by itself because I did, you do five cycles it will go away if the problem is fixed so all in all it was a success um, it just took me less than an hour to do the whole job it was really easy the, the only if it was like the air removing and the actually the hardest part was putting the air filter back the, the it's, it's really tight spot so I struggled there and I scratched some stuff so there's a potential for things to go wrong if you break something so just be careful yeah that's all